In this video, I'll be walking through this free download, link in the description, of 22 years of men's March Madness tournament data. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. So I got a free video today, link in the description to what I have pulled up on the screen here, which is 22 years of NCAA tournament data from 2001 through 2023. I have each year, the seed, the team, the rounds listed, number of wins, and then I have an expected wins and the deviation from that. It's like the base table. And then off over here to the right, you can see I have each seed, and then rounds one through six, how many wins that seed has won, and the corresponding win percentage. And I have a table to show the average expected win for each seed. And then I have a, a table over here that's going to go over um, what team has performed best in the tournament. So I think this is super helpful if you're a, a nerd on March Madness and want to have all the data at your fingertips. I've done the, the manual work of creating the brackets and inputting the outcomes. So all you have to do is download it. I do ask if you do download, please like and subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of sports betting and sports related Excel models that I walk through. So I think this is um, right in line and I have a lot more planned for, for March Madness specifically. And definitely stay tuned to the end and I'll give a preview of a fully simulated March Madness uh, bracket predictor model that I've built. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It's a really um, cool model and uh, the link is in the description for that as well. So let's just talk through real quickly what, what the model is. So like I said, free link in the description and whenever you click the link, it's going to be in view only. I know I'm going to get emails about this, so please go up to file, make a copy if you want to be able to edit the data yourself or do different slicing or add additional comments. Just do make a copy and then save a copy for yourself and it's yours to run with however you see fit. But the, the how to read it is we have our, our year, our seed, our team, and then rounds one through six. If you see a one, that means that they won. So Illinois beat Northwestern State back in 2001. And that'll just continue on down the screen. And I just have a column here that adds up the number of wins. And then the expected wins. So that's going to look at the seed. And then I'm going to have a table built out here that looks at average win per seed. So 3.24 average win for a one seed. Then if you look at down to a 16, just 0 0.02. Um, so I think this is really interesting. And I have a color um, scheme as well. So you can see that the 11 seed over the last 22 years is definitely an anomaly. You can see that's at 0.77, where a 10 seed is only 0.57 or a, a 9 or 8 seed. So just something to, I think the data really helps you as you get closer to March Madness of building out your bracket and kind of knowing where some of the inflection points are. And obviously the one seed really does stand out. We go down here to the win percentages, 97%. 98% rounded to for the one seed to win the first round. That's you know, that's only only two losses over the last 22 years or over all of history. And then you can see, I think what's really astounding is 17% of the winner is going to be a one seed. So just something to really keep in mind as you build out that your brackets is put a lot of emphasis on the one seed, um, two through four less than 5%, and then we have our UConn as a 7 seed, as uh, the only standout, no 5 or 6 seed, and definitely nothing below that. Then you can see the 11 seed definitely stands out from a win percentage. It's higher than a, a 10 seed, and then advancing to the Sweet 16 is at 20%. So um, I think if you've been in March Madness for a while, you know 11 seeds are a pretty good betting seed, and um, the data definitely supports that. Um, so just... I would say to you know glean from this whatever you you want, but I think it's really interesting data. And then one more thing I have built in here for everybody is I have this by team the expected wins. So UConn is number one. That's no surprise. They've won four championships over the last twenty two years. Um, one as a four seed, one as a seven seed. Michigan State, Butler, North Carolina, UCLA, Kentucky, Florida. So a lot of the blue bloods are standing out as you know doing better than their seed even would have you number of appearances for each team, their average seed, their best seed, their worst seed. Um, so this is just helpful knowing kind of what teams have historically performed the best. 
And then you can go down to the bottom. What seed? What teams have performed the worst? So Virginia, you know, as a one seed losing to a 16, that definitely hurts their numbers. But they've also been the tournament 11 times. So they've they've underperformed consistently. This one's hard to hard to see. I'm a fellow Hawkeye, so seeing Iowa as uh, the fifth worst performer over the last 20 years, it's no surprise as a fan knowing that. But um, just one to know, like if you're looking for upsets, maybe target some of these programs as they've historically underperformed their their seed, knowing that these teams have historically outperformed. So that's just I think really helpful um, information as well. I have a pivot table tab here. Again, if you save down a copy, you can um, slice it and move it around. You'll just do the, the edit button down here and it'll bring up the pivot table editor and you can look at different information that you like. So yeah, that's that's what I have today. It's a free download. Hopefully this is interesting. I, I don't think you can really find this information. Like I said, I had to manually put in all this. So I uh, wanted to give this to everybody and just please like and subscribe if you do uh, download. And with that, I'm going to flip over to Excel and show you the March Madness model I've created and just give a quick preview of that as well. All right, I have pulled up here the, the model and the link is in the description for this on my Etsy page. I'm really proud of this model. I've been using it for many years. And if you're like me and you like to build out a lot of different NCAA tournament scenarios and make a lot of brackets, I think this is a great product. So if we just click generate bracket, you can see that it's going to simulate every game, every round. I have it summarized for who your final four is, your championship, and then who ultimately wins. And just it's just a click of a button, and you can generate as many brackets as you want. I have the option for you to manually type in who you think is going to win, and it'll populate with just them. So if you think Gonzaga's the only possible champion, every bracket will be simulated with Gonzaga winning. And I have that built out so you can do that for the championship game and the final four as well. I have a drop down up here where you can use what is your base probabilities. So if you want to use from 1985 through 2023 probabilities of the outcomes, or if you want to look at what I just showed the video, which would be the 2001 through 2023 information, you just select two. And then if you want to look at what Kim Palm had for his 2023, I'll put 2024, obviously, whenever it becomes available as the base, or if you want to do just manual probabilities, there's a tab for that as well. So really cool to be able to have a, a base simulation to, to run off of. And then for each region, I have it so you can do some manual adjustments. And then you update your final four and championship as well. And here's what Kim Palm produced last year. So I'll drop in the 2024 whenever that becomes available. And then here's the historical data summarized. So this will be your base probabilities for 2021, 2001 through 2023. Or if you want to go all the way back to 85 through 2023, I have that information in there as well. And then Emmanuel, if you just want to update probabilities yourself. So you know, like I said, if you're if you're a March Madness fiend like me and really like um, the bracket side of it, I think this is a really cool model. And uh, yeah, appreciate any feedback because I'm proud of this. Link in the description for those interested, get a preview. And if you do purchase it, I will um, send out an updated version once 2024 bracket is available. Um, so just wanted to let you know, like you're not going to have to do that update yourself. I'll, I'll take care of it and send it out as soon as it's available. But besides that, that's all I have in the video for today. Thank you for watching and God bless.